Hello, this is Running Robert, and today we're going to be talking about the Assertio Holdings ASRT third quarter 2023 summary. Today is the 27th of November, and in the summary, we're going to be looking at the bullish and the bearish parts of this company. So I generally do small cap pharma, I do games, I do a little bit of everything on my channel. So if you like what I'm doing, please like and subscribe. It helps out a lot, and thank you. Last claimer is I currently really have no position. I do have some options that are going to expire worthless, but they are very small and very speculative. Uh, I am an amateur investor, and any advice given should be followed up by our own due diligence, and any information given is valid for today, the 27th of November, and the slideshow will not be updated. But when we get new news, new slideshow. So, what happened? Well, there was definitely a rough report. So, innocent sales fell because of generic competition, and we can expect that they will continue to fall throughout the next quarters. The proc did still bring in $18 million in sales for this quarter, so a good quarter of sales, but that is about to be cut back. Uh, Indicin did account for more than 50 to 70 percent of the current sales before this quarter, and the drugs that they brought in really were mostly muted, bringing in 7.1 and 2.1 million dollars. They also had a lot of uh, insider selling that also occurred. So generally, it, it's been a pretty terrible month, pretty pretty terrible quarter. Really, what we're looking at is a single generic approval, plus they have some other compounding pharmacy on the side. I'm not entirely sure what that is, but we know that there is a generic approval in the thing. And my estimates is that we would start to see generic sales in the fourth quarter of 2023. Looks like I could be a quarter off, though the company stated that it was a reduction of inventory that really cut the sales. So we still might not be seeing the generic sales, but it's, it's going to be occurring very soon, if not. Uh, and Indocin is not a drug that can compete against a generic, and I expect sales to continue to fall quickly. And what I mean by that is, you know, some companies, when under generic threats, have something special. They have either some kind of customer care or something like that. Um, Indocin and its treatments just do not cover anything like that. So I don't expect there to be really much resistance to people being like, well, what's the difference between a generic and the drug? And they say just the price. Well, there you go. That's that's now a new generic customer right there. So I don't expect a lot. Obviously, sometimes on a little bit of a tirade, if you have a company that says, well, the generics is cheaper, but when you're getting the main prescription, you get a lot of other stuff involved with the company, you know, customer care, stuff like that. So a little bit different, but with Indocin, it's it's kind of cut and dry. So what is next? So the company's thought process was that Rob Belden could offset the Indocin generic. And that was pretty much they just trade revenues. They also had something else went generic. But that was kind of the thought that, hey, you know, we're going to lose Indocent, but we're going to gain something else. No one's going to see anything. And it'll be great. That definitely did not happen at all. So they didn't give really any estimates of the sales for the fourth quarter in 2023 due to inventory and short-term incentives. Uh, that was given by Spectrum Pharmaceuticals and not uh, Acerdio. So it's a little bit murky, that's for sure. Uh, the company does have some cash to give it time to write the ship. And with a $115 million market cap currently and $76 million in cash, they're really not putting any money in the rest of the company. And you can see pretty much $40 million is what they pretty much think the rest of the pipeline is worth or the rest of the sales are worth. So that's not so bad. So looking at the sales for the last quarter, obviously $18 million for Indocin. Uh, then you have next at $7.1. And then you have a lot of uh, just small sales like under three million none of these are going to be any big difference obviously cambia will be the one i kind of mentioned because it went from six million last year at the same quarter down to two that is under generic threat but 35 million total in revenues that's not terrible for the company that's for sure the quarterly report like i said 35 in sales uh, expenses were seven millions for the, seven million for the cost of sales 1.3 for r d and 21 million for administrative and et cetera. So on just the cost basis, that's about 30 million in expenses and they made 35 million in sales. So had we not been in the situation, this would be a really strong company. And it was for a while, the stock price was a lot higher than it was currently. So mm. uh, there was also other one-time expenses that occurred in this last quarter that really just kind of skewed the results we're not gonna really talk about that but we're gonna say they about have 77 million million in cash at the moment so the summary the company is down but it's certainly not out uh, with a healthy cash reserve they definitely have time to write the ship even if they lose all indecent sales in the next quarter don't think will happen the company would still have a year plus in cash to survive 
So it, there could be some positivity here. However, it's going to take some time and the stock might fall further. However, I could recommend the stock as a long-term hold if you have the time and the patience to see if they can turn it around. Again, we are going to see probably a pretty bad fourth quarter. You know, I think the generic sales will hit in that quarter for sure. And you're going to see it kind of get crushed. So, you know, again, you could probably look at some kind of long-term hold if you wanted. Knowing that if they can write the ship, that might be might be something that is lucrative. But if they can't write the ship, well, then this stock is pretty much heading for bankruptcy. So... But I hope this helped uh, give you some information about the stock, what is going on, and maybe if it is within your risk tolerance for investing. So thank you very much for watching and listening, and I hope you have a wonderful day.